Hey guys, it's Blaine from the Niche Perfumery. I am super excited to be here with you today on our sixth review of what is hopefully going to be hundreds. I certainly have hundreds of fragrances to review for you. People are already contacting me about sending me new ones to review that I've never even heard of. So this looks like a long road that we're going to be on together and I'm super excited to be here with you. Now tonight's fragrance, I was looking for something that would be uh, something everyone could connect with, a fragrance that everybody's heard of, and a fragrance that everybody should know and should if you don't own it, you should at least try it because it is infamous in niche perfumery and one of the most important fragrances in niche perfumery in my opinion, but it's also one of the most controversial. We are talking, of course, of Molecule One. Molecule One by Eccentric Molecules. Now, Eccentric Molecules is a fragrance line that's produced out of London. Uh, it's was crafted by the perfumer Geza Schoen, and it is uh, it's the business side of Eccentric Molecules is held up by uh, by Tim Blanks and Jeff Lowndes and Geza, and I believe there's one more person, and please forgive me for not remembering who it is. However, I do need to tell you up front that I am good friends with Jeff and Tim, and they. Um, have always been very, very kind to me and very, very supportive. And they gave me this bottle as well as every other eccentric molecules fragrance that I have. I will, however, try to be as impartial as I can in telling you what it's what it smells like and what I think about it and what give you a good idea of, of, of what kind of fragrance it is nonetheless. Now, the reason that I say that molecule one is very controversial is because it is made from only one ingredient. The whole entire Eccentric Molecules line is a duality of sorts. You've got Molecule 1, 2, and 3, and actually 4 now, just came out with the fourth molecule, and Eccentric 1, Eccentric 2, Eccentric 3, and Eccentric 4. The difference between these eight fragrances is that all of the molecules are single ingredient fragrances, meaning that inside of this bottle, as well as the others in the line, is alcohol and one ingredient. In this one, it happens to be ISO E Super. Uh, in Molecule 2, it's Ambroxan. In Molecule 3, it is Vetiveral Acetate. And in Molecule 4, it's Jovenol. Now, those alone are synthetic fragrances that are laboratory made and are outstandingly beautiful and have every reason to shine as a solaflor of sorts. A solaflor is a single flower fragrance, but it's a single ingredient fragrance. Um, they have every right to do that, but people hate on it because they say, well, it's only one, it's only one note. There's no skill involved in that. There's no talent involved in that. All that he did is just in take one, one ingredient and one carrier and put it together and anybody can do that. And you're right. Anybody can do that. You can purchase ISO E Super online from suppliers. Now, different supply houses make ISO E Super and I've smelled people's homemade versions of Molecule One, and they are in no way similar. Eh, they're similar, but they're not this. What's happening here is really, really special, and it's really, really a great fragrance. And I go through phases of this where I wear it a lot, and I'll wear it for almost everything, and then I'll put it on the shelf and I'll forget about it, or I'll get bored with it because, um, you know, it's not super flashy. It is not uh, super, you know, it's not like Black Afghano. It's not like um, some of these other fragrances that have tons of hype around them and, and are just really big talk about. Molecule One, however, is really special because it's made from a molecule, Isoe Super, that has an interesting effect on the nose. ISO E Super, when, it's, when you smell it, like initially you smell it and it smells very, very good. The smell that you'll get when you, spray, when you spray this and you smell it, and you know what, let's take a smell of it right now. Let's spray it on there. Yeah. When you first smell it, it is a very, very pleasant, woody, soapy, sweet smell. Very, very uh, parallel with clean laundry or the smell of laundry while you've got it 
in the washer and the suds are going and it's washing and you open up the lid and you smell inside and you smell that uh, the smell of the fabric softener and the detergent and the water and it's all together and it's, and it's emitting a fragrance. That is probably the best way that I can describe what Molecule One smells like. It is incredibly, incredibly pleasant. Now the interesting thing about it though is that because it's a musk molecule your nose is only able to smell it for so long. You will eventually, some people quicker than others, you will eventually become anosmic to it. Anosmic means you won't be able to smell it. You know the effect that happens when you're in a place that really really smells bad and after a short time you can't smell it anymore? That's what happens. Our body has this means of, of doing that, that when there's a, a bad smell or whatever that we can tune it out. Now what's happening with this is that it's a very, very large musk molecule. These very, very large musk molecules bind to the receptors in your nose and once they've all bound to the receptors, you do not smell it anymore. So it has this ghosting effect that comes and goes throughout the day. You will wear molecule one and you will smell it when you put it on, but by the time you leave the house, you will swear that it, it's gone, you can't smell it anymore, and a lot of people will write a terrible review about it while they're in traffic on the way to work the first time that they're wearing it because they can't smell it. But the crazy doggone thing is that everyone else you walk past in the hallways, in the elevator, when you meet and shake their hands, every single other person, they can smell it and you smell great and you are going to get tons of compliments to this day i you know as much as i like this company and i like the guys that that founded it that has no bearing on the fact that i get more compliments when wearing molecule one than any other fragrance in my entire collection because it is just a stunner it's just so so good and and i get probably equal compliments from guys as girls because it's, it's so universal. So if you are a female, this is a great fragrance for you. If you're a male, this is a great fragrance for you because universally, it smells amazing. Now, some people say, I don't know how true this is exactly because I don't know the science about it. Some people say that it smells different on everyone's skin. Now, you'll hear that about fragrances in general. You'll hear that every fragrance smells different on every person. I, I don't know if I want to get into this really here. I don't necessarily agree with that totally. We'll do another review and talk about that and the details of it. But this is one of those fragrances that is purported to smell different on each person. May be true, it may not be true. But the fact is that you, when you wear it, you'll smell it and then it'll go away and then you'll get up from your desk to go or wherever you are from, from doing whatever you're doing you'll get up to walk somewhere and then you'll catch a whiff of it and you'll smell it and it'll smell awesome and then just as quickly as you smell it it'll be gone again and that'll happen all day long because this is a very 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 long lasting fragrance it just doesn't get that much uh, credit for being that because you don't smell it all day long the way that you would a fragrance like Black Afghano because that is a soup Black Afghano is very high silage it's very strong projecting fragrance and you can smell it and smell it and smell it but Molecule One is much more nuanced than that in that it comes and goes and it's the perfect business scent every single job interview that I've gone on or important meeting that I have to be to even when I go to the dentist I choose to wear Molecule One because I know I'm going to smell amazing when I walk into the room. I know that I'm going to smell great as I meet the person and I know that I am not going to overwhelm them with my fragrance because they and I will both become anosmic to this fragrance and they will only remember how great I smelled when I walked in the room. They may catch another whiff of it depending on how long we're together or how long the meeting is, but they're not going to be sitting there smelling thinking, gosh, this guy put on way too much cologne. Or, you know, these people who say that they're sensitive or they have, uh, they have um, uh, allergies to, to fragrance. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, but I don't think that that really happens with Molecule One. I'd be interested to know from any of you who do have allergies to fragrance, if you have tried Molecule One, how does it affect you? Because 
I would love to know. So please comment below, let me know, because that would be really cool to find out. To me, uh, my wife's very sensitive to fragrance. This does not seem to bother her. Um, and I only get compliments on this one. So guys, this has been a little bit of a long review. Uh, there's been a quite a bit of explanation going on in this one, but it's for a very interesting fragrance and for a very good reason. So if you're, again, if you're new to niche perfumery, if you haven't smelled Molecule One, get yourself a sample. Uh, make sure that it's in a sprayer. I think it's really important to try Molecule One uh, through an atomizer and not just through one of those uh, vials that you dip it in. Um, you know, you may buy it in a vial, but transfer it into a sprayer because I think something happens as you spray it and it atomizes and it gets all over your skin. Uh, and when you do also try it on clothing. If you're having a hard time smelling it and you're one of these people that's ultra sensitive to the molecule in it and you, sm and you can't smell it and it only smells like alcohol to you, I recommend that you spray it on a t-shirt or on a washcloth and you leave it overnight and then pick it up first thing in the morning when you've woke up and put it up to your nose and smell it. You should be able to smell it then and then you will get the aha of what Molecule One really smells like. You'll get that soapy, sweet, woodsy, um, just ultra clean, ultra attractive fragrance. So guys, this has been my review for Molecule One by Eccentric Molecules. My name is Blaine Walker. This is the Niche Perfumery. Please do not be afraid to smell unusually good. Good night.